Hello, people. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, perdón. Excuse me. Okay. Say one more. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Let me see, I'm checking that tone. Okay, let's get started this evening. Today we are going to start module, oh, I mean, unit two. Yeah, unit two, section two. Uh, remember, this section has five homeworks for Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Five homeworks and the midterm exam. Okay. Five homeworks and one exam. Remember, that means that for Friday, you have to complete everything. Let me share the screen. Ya terminamos section one. Today we start section two, and Section two, you have the unit two, with five homeworks and the midterm exam with four parts. Okay, todo eso tiene que estar terminado para el viernes. Entonces, veamos las tareas. Ah, esta es la sección 2. ¿eh? Empezamos con la clase o videoconferencia 6. Homework 6. 
class seven, homework seven, class eight, homework eight, class nine, homework nine, class 10, homework 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, seis tareas. And the exam. Now le muestro el examen. El midterm exam. No, el examen. El examen, eh, aquí está. Eh, exam, part one. One, two, three, four, five. Parte uno. Part two. One, two, three, four, five. Part three. One, two, three, four, five. Me momento de selección. Part four. Okay, entonces. Muestro para que vayan al día, ¿ok? Ok, any question with the platform? ¿Alguna pregunta con la plataforma, los ejercicios de esta semana? Sí, sí. Hola. Quiero comprender el examen, eh, lo haremos esta semana, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, antes del viernes, igual. Sí. Las cinco tareas. Exacto. Gracias. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que incluye esta semana. ¿Verdad? Las tareas, una para cada día y el examen. Así, viernes por la noche, estamos pasando esas notas. ¿Ok? Ok, let's check the attendance. Abner Adoni Molina. Uh, here. Okay. Oh, hey. Qué bonito el boom. Ana Elizabeth Meléndez. Present. Okay. Brian Aldair Figueroa. Okay. Carlos Antonio Elías. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Carmen Merari Rios. Here. Okay. Merari, the 10 minutes okay. are for you. De acuerdo. Okay. Irma Noemi de Jesús Martínez. Present teacher. Ok. José Francisco Beltrán. Present teacher. Ok. Carla Milena López. Present teacher. Ok. José Francisco, uh, veo que eh, acá tengo Beltrán Ordóñez. ¿Es correcto? Correcto, correcto, teacher. Ah, vaya. Porque ahí me aparece en la pantalla como Orloña Beltrán. Pero bueno, estamos bien aquí. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Presente, teacher. Ok, welcome. Levi Jolivet Cruz. Present, teacher. Ok, welcome. Thank you. María Epifania Castro. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Mariela Andrea Carranza. 
Mariela Andrea here. Marta Marisol Castillo. Present teacher. Okay. Mauricio mm. Antonio Ruano. Present teacher. Okay. Mónica María Pérez. Present. Okay. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Present teacher. Okay. Raúl Mauricio Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Ricardo Alonso López. Sandra Yamilet Escobar. Present teacher. Ahí está. Okay. Teresa Noemi Ángel. Teresa Noemi. Present teacher. Ay, se me había trabado el teléfono, perdón. Okay. Vilma de Los Ángeles Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. And William Giovanni Laines. William. Okay, people, let's get started with the book. Okay, the manual for section two. In this, the the topic or the title of this unit is ongoing activities at the workplace. Ongoing activities at the workplace. Okay, so activities that we uh, do at the workplace, but we are going to talk about how frequently I do an activity in the workplace. Okay, so we'll be talking about frequency of our activity. Frequency, all right? We have two questions here to start talking about. How often do you check your email at work? And, okay, let's start with the first one, okay? How often do you check your email at work? Write in the chat, please, your answer. How often do you check your email at work? Can you give me an, a, an answer in the chat, please? I check my email. I don't know, um, once a day, for example, or I check my email every day, or I don't know, what about you? Or I never check my email, so. Okay, let me see. Anna Elizabeth says, I check my email every day. Teresa Noemi says, twice a day, every day. Maria Epifania, every day. Carla Milena, every day. Oscar Humberto says, all days. Mauricio Antonio, every day. No. To every what? Okay. okay, Carlos Enrique, every day. Mauricio Antonio, every two hours. Wow. Merari, once a day. Carlos Antonio, every day. Noemi, Irma Noemi, every day. Monica Maria, every day. Okay, very good. 
Sometimes, says Kevin. No? Nice. Every day, says Raul. Okay. And the second question says. Uh, 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 uh. How often do you attend meetings? How often do you attend meeting? Uh -huh. I attend meeting. I don't know, once a, a week or once a month or never. I don't know. What about you? How often do you attend meeting? Come on, write your answers. What happened with your answers? Okay, Emmanuel, me, once a month, sometimes, twice each day. Oh, a lot. The rest, once a month, says Epifania. Merari, once a week. Jose Francisco, three days a week. Once a day, each week, says Monica. Oscar Humberto once a week, Carlos Enrique often, Carla Milena every day. Carlos Antonio every day. Okay, very good. So nowadays, uh, email and meetings okay, are important. Marisol, once a month. Perfect. We have a conversation here between John and Anne. Talking about this, uh, this topic and describing some frequency of their activities. So let's see. Let me read the conversation first. First time I'm going to read the conversation and record it here in WhatsApp for you. Different group. This is the group. Okay. Listen. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, there it is. One more time. Listen to the pronunciation and the intonation. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call client? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. 
I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay. Let's practice now. Repeat after me, please. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Every, Every two hours. hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call yeah, your client? Well, I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call client? I Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. Morning. You are right. You are right. You are right. Perfect. Now, you are Anne and I am John. Okay. Okay. You are Anne. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every, Every two, two hours. hours. You? You? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And I how often, often do you call them once a week, week on Monday? On Monday, on Monday but I usually I try to call, call them on the way that they ordered or they ordered or they ordered. Hey, let me finish. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. 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 Okay. Now you are John and I am Anne. You begin. One, two, three. How oh, often do you check email? Every two hours. And you? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call your client? Yes, yes, I always, always always in the morning, You are right. Okay, very good. Any question with the conversation, people? No questions. Okay. So I will give you time to practice the conversation in pairs. And I also want you to respond these two questions. Okay, respond these questions. One, how often does check uh, does Anne check her email? Information is in the conversation. Why is it important to check the email every day? That is a personal response, a personal answer. Okay. Number one, how often does Anne check her email? Number two, why, why is it important to check the email every day? Okay. So I'll send you to work in pairs. 
to practice the conversation and to uh, respond to questions on exercise three. Let me see. Okay. Ah, uh, Creo que todos están, bueno, solo uno. Pero Brian me dijo que iba a estar de... Pero no sé si ya llegó, quiero ver qué me había puesto. Tu, 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 tu. No sé si ya llegaste, Brian. Ya ahorita, entre unos seis minutos, llego y me conecto porque ya casi voy llegando a la colonia. Ok. Bueno, vamos a armar los grupos. Si veo que alguien está ahí, Carlos, solo estás en un dispositivo, estás en dos. Quiero ver. Ah, está en dos. En dos, okay. dice. Para colocar. Permítame hacer aquí unos movimientos. Lo que no lo pregunté, Kevin, es si ya puedes entrar a los grupos. Hola, teachers. Good evening, si ya podemos. Eso. Ok, so go to your groups, please, and practice the conversation. And then respond to questions on exercise three. See you in 10 minutes.
A ver, entonces, ya está la dos entonces, como le pusiste. Mm. Yes. I always call them ten first team. No, ten first time in the morning. Así, ¿verdad? Quieren meter. Uh -huh. Ahí, ahí te fácil acabar en esos días. Pero toda la semana la descansa. No, solo son como tres días, ¿no? Tres días. A ver qué tal. Ay, yo cuando estaba en ventas. Escribo las preguntas en el chat. ¿En el chat? Sí, la primera. And checks her email every two hours. Lo pongo, sí. Yeah. I always call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You all are time. right. Creo que ya no va a sacar. Creo que sí. Okay, welcome back. It's time to practice or to present the conversation, okay? Let's start with, 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 with. Okay, Marta and Mauricio. Okay. How often do you check in your Gmail? Every two hours and you? Well, I think to checking is often as claim and how, well, how often do you play your claim? I often call ten on a week. Of mo on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always claim the feeding in the morning. I beat it for to have contact with them and the time. You are right. Okay, thank you. Now, please, Abner and Carlos. Hola. Uh, Abner and Carlos. How often do you check your email? Uh -huh. Every two hours. Every two hours. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is Abner and Carlos Antonio, yes? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, you start, okay. Carlos. Okay. okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it is how often has a cane and how often do you call your client? 
I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them a Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first things in the morning. I believe it is important to have come with them all the time. You are, you are right. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with Brian and Sandra, please. Okay, how, often, how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check if it's as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call to once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to ship the order. Do you call claim? Yes, I always get call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, thank you. Now, Carlos, Enrique, and Kevin. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check say all do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first time in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right, perdón. Okay, thank you. Now please Oscar and Raul. Okay, how often do you check your emails? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as, all, as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often uh, call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check her, their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are, you are right. Okay, thank you. Now please, Jose, Francisco and Vilma. How often do you check um, your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I need to check is how often it's gone. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their, their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I. I was called 10 first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with Conte Hub to 10. You're right. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now let's hear Carla and Teresa. Okay. How often do you check your email? Hello. Mm. Mm. Teacher, a mí me toca, ¿verdad? Con Carla y Teresa. Con Teresa. 
Teresa Noemi, where are you? Aquí, aquí estoy. Es que se me está yendo el internet. Oh, Perdón. sorry. Okay. Me, okay. Eh, Carla, tú eres yo. Sí. Eh, okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours in you. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Perfect, thank you. Now, Levi and Monica. Yes. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? We. Oui. I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them oh, once a week on Monday, but I usually call them one on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first time in the morning. I believe, um, se me olvide la pronunciación, believe, believe, believe. I believe. I believe it, it is import, important to have contact with them at the time. You are right. Correct, thank you. Now, Anna Elizabeth and Epifania, please. How often do you check your image? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday <coughs> to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call, call them first things in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay. And finally, Irma and Mirari. How often do you check your email? Every two, every two hours in you. Well, I try to check it uh, often uh, as I can and often do you call your clients? I often call, call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the orders. Do you call, call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning, I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, very good. Thank you. Well, let's see some words that you had some problems. Uh, this one. Client, clients. Be careful, okay? Clients. Also this one. Call, call. Okay, it's nice call, nice Kai, call. How often do you call your client? Call your client. Okay. 
the same problem with this. All, all, all the time, all the time. También esta les gusta un poco a algunos. I always call them, them. I always call them, them. You know? them. Y esto que ya se los había mencionado anteriormente, creo, donde el, el sonido tiene que unirse. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Ya. Cuando digamos ese it así, hay que unirlo. Check it, take it, call it, do it. Se une, ok. Check it. Ok, very good. Any question? No. No? Ok. Look at this question. How often? How often is to it's ask? Uh-huh. Uh, I believe it is. I believe, believe. ¿Cómo se eso? Así va unido. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? I believe it is important. I believe it is important. Yeah. I believe it is important. Ahí en believe hay una pequeña pausa, ¿no? I believe it is. It is. It is important. Okay. Okay. How often is the the question word for frequency? Cuando preguntamos how often, we are asking about the frequency of an activity. The frequency of an activity. How often do you check your email? Means con qué frecuencia revisas tu email. Okay. The same here. How often do you call your client? How often? Con qué frecuencia llamas a tus clientes? So that is the word to ask for frequency. Para preguntar la frecuencia de una actividad, preguntamos how often. Ok, y la pronunciación es often. Often, es como si la T fuera muda. Ya. Como si esta T fuera muda. No decimos how often, sino how often. Often. How often do you check your email? Eh, how often do you call your client? See, often. Okay. Then we have these words that express the frequency. I often, I usually, always, I always. So these are what we call, digamos, a ver, frequency adverbs. So frequency adverbs. Ya lo vamos a estudiar. Okay. Then there are two questions here. How often does Anne check her email? What is the answer to this question? Every oh. two hours. Every ah. two hours. Every two hours. Every two hours. Or, 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 or,
every every two hours. And check her email every two hours. Ahora aquí hay variadas respuestas. Okay. So write your answers in the chat, please. Why is it important to check the email every day? Why? Reason. Why is it important to check the email every day? Write your answers in the chat, please. Write your answers in the chat. Okay, let's see. Avner says it is important to check the email every day to attend the customer queries. Queries? To check Consultas. the schedule. Inquiries, I think. Inquiries. But that's okay. To check the, oh, the answer. Uh huh. Okay. Sería correcto que queries o, o tendría que haber utilizado otra otra frase. No, yo creo que, que no está bien escrita. O sí. Oh, ok. In, y creo que falta in, inquiries. Ok, ok. Me equivoco. Uh, to check the schedule and attend meetings because it helps to organize work every day. It is important because we have communication with clients, to know instructions from my boss. I need to follow up process and important topics with the clients and colleagues. Colleagues. Because I help instructions from my boss. Okay, so good reasons. Uh, is it important because that is how I, I what? Oh, no, we're okay. I do my job. It is important for any activity. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's right. For information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Good reason. Okay, let's take a look to this frequency adverbs. Okay, we are talking about frequency adverbs in this lesson. We use frequency adverb adverbs to say how frequently an activity happens. Okay, so we use frequency adverbs to talk about the frequency of an activity. And these are the frequency adverbs. Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, Occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, or rarely, never. Okay? And this is a... Uh, it's soon approximado, no? ¿Verdad? De, de la el porcentaje de frecuencias para darnos una idea nada más. ¿Ok? De lo que significa en términos de frecuencia cada adverb. I'm going to record them in WhatsApp to leave the pronunciation here of the frequency adverbs. Okay. Listen. Okay. 
frequency adverbs. Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, never. Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, never. Okay, I want you to repeat after me. Always. 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 Usually. Usually. Normally. 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 Often. 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 Sometimes. 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 Occasionally. 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 Seldom. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. ever. Rarely. 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 Never. 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 So, always. What is always? Siempre. 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 Usually. Usualmente. Normally. Normalmente. 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 Often. A menudo. A menudo. A menudo, sí. Sometimes. Algunas veces. Algunas veces. Occasionally. Ocasionalmente. Seldom. Rara vez. Rara vez. Uh -huh. Hardly ever. Hardly no me acuerdo. Casi nunca. Casi Rara. nunca. Eh, Rarely. Rara vez. Rara vez. Rara vez. Uh -huh. And never. Nunca. nunca. Rara vez. Nunca. Tiene frecuencia. Ok. Now let's, let me read the sentence. I'm going to record the sentence. Always, I always get up at five o'clock. Usually, he usually drives to work. Normally, she normally checks her email. Often, I often have breakfast at work. Sometimes, she sometimes uses the microwave. Occasionally, I occasionally work overtime. Seldom, we seldom take calls at work. Rarely, he rarely has conferences. Never, I never get late to work. Okay. Let's practice, repeat please. I always get up at five o'clock. I always get up at five o'clock. He usually drives to work. He usually drives to work. She normally checks her email. She normally checks her email. I often have breakfast at work. She sometimes uses the microwave. She sometimes uses the microwave. I occasionally work overtime. I occasionally work overtime. We seldom take calls at work. We seldom take calls at work. He rarely has conferences. He rarely has conferences. I never get late to work. I never get late to work. Okay, any question, people? Mm. 
No. No. Perfect. Teacher hardly ever que dijo que era. Casi nunca. Thanks. Teacher. Hola. Seldon and Rayleigh es lo mismo. Rara vez. Ahora uh, sí. Sí. ¿En qué momento se utiliza una y en qué momento otra? Puede ser opcional. Depende lo que, eh, con, como quieras expresar el nivel de frecuencia de una actividad. Como ves, el margen es, es muy parecido. ¿Verdad? O sea, son palabras muy parecidas. En cuanto okay, a, la, a la frecuencia de actividad de una actividad. Ok. Now, there are some sentences or some adverbs here that I want you to, to use. Well, the idea is to write sentences using these adverbs. Look at this example. Those are examples that I have put. I always teach English at 8 o'clock p.m. Often. I often work on Saturday. Sometimes. I sometimes read books in English. Hardly ever. I hardly ever watch horror movies in class. Never. I never speak French in class. Okay. So, the idea is that you write sentences with real information about you, particularly describing your activities in a regular week. The activities you do in a regular week, okay? Using always, often, sometimes, hardly ever and never. So write sentences about you. Okay. I will give you time to do it individually, okay? Please, when you finish with your sentences, raise your hand. Okay.
Okay, I see four hands up. Five, six. Okay. Okay, I'm going to send you to working groups to talk about your sentence, okay? To practice speaking English. So you're going to talk about the, your activities with your classmates, okay? Hablar con sus compañeros de sus oraciones. So please join your groups and have a conversation, okay? Speak, 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 speak. Go to your groups, please, with your sentences.
Hello. Ya terminaron. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Sí, teacher, ya. Ok. Ya la hicimos, ya repasamos también. Ok, see you in a moment. Oh, lo siento. Pero lo esperamos. Salve. Ok, ok. No para que se me van a dormir. No, para nada. el I have always liked fútbol, pero like pasado. Like ah, yo le puse, siempre me gusta ver fútbol. I, all, I always likes to watch fútbol. Ah, pero le ha gustado ah. ver. Ver. Uh -huh. Ajá. I almost never miss work. Never miss work, así, ¿verdad? Nosotros uh -huh. también. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Si gustan, yo digo una, cada quien decimos una y vamos a intentar. Bye. Ok. Eh, no, a mí me I always are.
Okay, welcome back. I'd like to hear some of your sentences. <clears throat> okay, let me start with Anna Elizabeth. Tell me two of your sentences. Two, only two. Okay. I always arrive early to work. Hmm? Uh, I usually travel by car at work. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Vilma? I always wake up six o'clock. I often breakfast in the, in the office. Okay, thank you. Mauricio? Okay. Uh, I always drink coffee in the morning. I never had money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Carlos and Enrique? <sighs> I always run in the morning. I often study in the afternoon. Okay, very good. Are you your grand sus? Piro. Okay, Brian. Uh, I often go to the bar. I, I, I sometimes read a book. Okay. Milena? I never rest from work on Saturday. Two. One more. I always watch my favorite movie on Saturday. Okay, thank you. Abner? Okay, I hardly ever watch TV at night. I never go at the at the work in bus. Okay, Irma. I have never been married. Married. Okay. Two sentences. Uh, I always arrive. Arrive. Early uh, my work. Okay. Uh, Carlos Antonio. I often visit my parents. Uh -huh. uh, I sometimes breakfast at work. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose Francisco. Okay, they often supervise us. They rarely let us work in Sunday. Okay, Epifania. I often go to the park. I always do my homework. Okay, Monica. I often work on my home. And I never, uh, when, and I hardly ever off the radio in my car. Okay, hardly ever turn off. Okay, Sandra? I often visit the doctor. Two, I never play handball. Okay. Kevin? I never. It's radish. I hardly ever go to the cinema. Okay. Uh, let's see, Marisol. Sometimes I go for a room. I never lost my English class. Okay. Good, good girl. Uh, who's missing? Lady. 
I always serve clients. I often work on Saturday. Okay. Two, yes, yes. Thanks. Teresa? I often buy the newspaper. I often buy the newspaper and seldom I go to the mountain. Okay. Um, Oscar? Um, I often uh, work on sunlight. Um, I never uh, translated to the United States. Okay. Um, Merari? I'm often checking coster. I often checking cost customer orders. I always check my aim emails every morning. Okay. Sí, creo que ya están todos, ¿verdad? ¿Alguien faltó? No. Okay, very good, very good. Let me show you something here. Okay. Yes. Ya les voy a dejar otra imagen por ahí en el WhatsApp. Pero veamos un poco acá. Acá está también los mismos. Eh, adverb ¿no? And solo quiero mostrarles el orden usual de eh, donde se coloca el adverb ok usualmente el adverb va en esta posición en oración el orden es este subject Por ejemplo, Daniel, adverb, always, y luego el verbo principal, the main verb, passes. Daniel always passes his exam. Okay, particularly the frequency adverb. We are talking about frequency adverb. Usualmente van antes de el verbo. Ok. Vean los ejemplos. I always brush my teeth at night. This is the verb. Brush my teeth. El verbo. I usually walk to work. Verb. Walk. I normally get good grades. Get. I often read in bed, read. I sometimes sing in the shower, sing, es el verbo. I occasionally go to bed. I seldom add salt to my food. I hardly ever get angry. Vegetarians never eat meat. Vean el adverbio al principio o va antes del verbo. Except, except when we use the verb be. ¿Ah? Excepto cuando estamos usando el verbo to be. El orden es subject, verb be, and adverb. You, he is always happy. He is always happy, man. This is the verb to be. 
va antes del adverbio. I am never angry. I am never, uh, I don't know. I am never, uh, sleep in the afternoon. I am never alone. Nunca estoy solo. Nunca estoy enojado. I am never angry. Entonces, cuando dice el verbo to be, va an. Esto, bueno, lo voy a explicar porque algunos usaron oraciones así. Cuando algunos usaron have always lived. Esto es más adelante lo de ver el present perfect, por ejemplo, que lleva un verbo auxiliar es has el adverbio y el verbo principal el libro entonces va en medio en este caso eso cuando conozcan este tiempo esta forma este tiempo verbal es que va a estar, lo van a utilizar ok Any question here? ¿Verdad? Lo muestro porque, ¿verdad? En algunos ejemplos de sus oraciones, quizá no llevaba exactamente este orden. Pero ese es el orden que debe de llevar. Las oraciones donde usamos un frequency alt. Voy a compartir esta imagen ahí en el. WhatsApp. Ok, ahí les queda. Mm. I will give, give you an exercise to practice. Just Let me see. Okay. I will give you this link here. WhatsApp, I will give it to you here as well. Gracias. Boom. You can go to this link. And lo voy a mostrar rápidamente el ejercicio. Van a llegar a él. Aquí hay un video con cuatro conversations. Tienen que verlo, escucharlo y completar los ejercicios. Las conversaciones de acuerdo al video. Ok. Work on that. Trabajen en eso.
Okay, people, it is time to finish. I hope you practice that ex with that exercise. Um, I'm going to take the last attendance of the evening. Please respond when you hear your name. Abner Adoni Molina. Present. Okay. Good night. Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Present. Good night. Hey, good night. Brian Aldair Figueroa. Present. Good night. Good night. Carlos Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Carmen Merari Rios. Here. Okay. Don't go. Irma Noemi de Jesus Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. Good night. Jose Francisco Beltran. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Carla Milena Lopez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Present teacher. Okay, bye bye. Good night. Lady Olivet Cruz. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Maria Epifania Castro. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Mariel Andrea Carranza. Eh, Marta Marisol Castillo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Monica Maria Perez. Present, good night. Good night. Eh, Oscar Humberto Argueta. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Raúl Mauricio Ramírez. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Good night. Eh, 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 ¿Dónde voy? Ricardo Alonso López. Sandra Yamile de Escobar. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Teresa Noemi Ángel. Present teacher. Good night. Vilma de Los Ángeles de Escobar. Here teacher, good night. Good night. William Giovanni La Ines. Okay, people. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye, good night. Bye. Okay, Merari. Hi. Hello. Bueno, estos minutos son para resolver alguna duda, alguna inquietud, algo que quiera que reforcemos. Para eso es este tiempo. Pues la verdad, eh, a mí me cuesta, mm, sobre todo la pronunciación, me cuesta muchísimo. Y creo que es porque no me gusta mucho. <risa> Entonces, y si algo no me gusta, eh, pero, o sea, sobre todo la, el inglés me gusta mucho, pero lo que no me gusta es la pronunciación. Entonces, por eso me cuesta. Entonces, eh, más que todo en eso, nada más. O sea... Eh... Pero está aquí por voluntad propia. Sí, 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 no, estoy aquí porque me gusta el inglés, por eso le digo, me gusta el inglés. Pero, pero no quiere hablar. No, no me gusta la pronunciación. Lo que pasa es que siento que lo digo mal, entonces yo lo entiendo, pero no, pero la, la pronunciación es lo que no me gusta. El, ah. Me metí para tratar la manera de aprenderlo, ¿verdad? Y de estar, en, de estar queriendo hacer los ejercicios para ir hablándolo. Pero 
Sí, vamos despacio. Sí, ahorita estamos apenas en el nivel 2. <risa> no, yo sé. Es apenas básico 2. Yo sé, y eso se lo dije también el teacher anterior, de que la pronunciación es la que me cuesta, pero es por eso de que no mucho me gusta. ¿Pero mm. qué es lo que no le gusta? Como que le da pena, no quiere... Mm, quizás, quizás pena en la clase no, Ajá. pero ya hablarlo eh, con otra persona que, que sí sabe, no me gusta. Ah, sí. Ajá, entonces. Es natural. Sí, a veces cuando llaman, llaman a la empresa a gente de, de, de China queriendo como ofrecer materia prima, este, yo les entiendo, pero yo no lo hablo, no lo puedo hablar. ¿Le entiende el inglés a los chinos? Sí. Mire, eso es difícil. <risa> Eso sí, es pero, pero yo no lo acento. puedo hablar, entonces ellos se quedan así como que, oh. ah. y me dicen, alguien que pueda hablar en inglés, me dicen, entonces yo me quedo así. Ah. Uh -huh. Poco a poco, ¿verdad? Claro, que poco a poco se va a ir encontrando la confianza necesaria para hablar. Sí. Eh, ayuda muchísimo el escuchar, escuchar, escuchar. Ajá, exacto. Exacto. Tiene que oír todo lo que pueda en inglés. Uh, yo por eso le grabo los audios para que lo vuelvan a escuchar, estén escuchando. El oído es el que tiene que, que acostumbrarse y cuando el oído está acostumbrado, uno ya lo puede. De manera natural le va a salir. Sí, correcto. No, y lo que me gusta de la clase de ahora es que es bastante participativa, que nos hace en grupo en que conversemos que hablemos entonces creo que esa es una de las partes que nos está ayudando hoy en las clases de ahora el anterior pues solo participaba una persona que quería como llamar la atención y ya nosotros todos nos quedábamos callados en cambio ahora participamos todos la verdad entonces ahora es como más que todos nos involucremos claro, claro entonces espero que, 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 que la de ahora me ayude un poquito más en cuanto a que me guste no imagínense que no solo que es cuestión de gusto sino que es una necesidad por, sí, sí, por la su verdad, trabajo ¿no? la verdad que sí a veces me toca que enviar correos y mi jefe me corrige porque me dice que el inglés no hay que hacer dar tanta vuelta para hablarlo, entonces me dice que usted viene, da tanta vuelta, me dice, y, y la gente que, que habla en inglés se enreda más. Entonces, bueno, dije yo, voy a meter al inglés. <risa> <risa> sí, pero ay, por lo demás estamos ahí. Estamos bien. Vaya, perfecto. Acá. Eh... Yo siempre les recomiendo un par de páginas para que escuchen, escuchen. Uh -huh. La verdad, ¿cómo se llama? Sí. Sí, solo se la muestro. Aquí también. En esta página hay, hay muchas conversaciones cortas. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces, no, están clasificadas por nivel. Sí. Ahí está. Se llama ILO con tres L. Es, ok. La que anotó aquí en el chat. Sí, exacto. Sí. Tiene muchísimas conversaciones cortas, dos minutos, tres minutos. Sí. Se ve hasta por, por nivel, principiante, intermedio, avanzado. Ah, ok. Se entra al nivel principiante y le van a aparecer todas las conversaciones del nivel principiante. ¿Verdad? Y lo interesante es que son personas de diferentes países con diferentes acentos. 
Sí, correcto. Eso ayuda, ¿no? La mayoría de los que hablan inglés no son gringos. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿está el video o el audio? Está. ¿Verdad? Se lo escucha, está aquí en la conversación corta. Tiene algunos ejercicios para practicar vocabulario, comprensión. Entonces, eh, son cortos, se pueden escuchar varias veces hasta que uno se familiar, familiariza con, sí. con la pronunciación y uno al, al familiarizarse con la pronunciación, pues ya puede. Uh -huh. Se van incorporando a, a su mente las palabras y a las frases surgen, salen la naturaleza. Sí, sí me voy a meter. Me voy a meter ahí. Había descargado yo una aplicación de inglés donde sale como un pajarito verde. Duolingo. Ese, ese. Y es buena también. Es buena. Esa había, había descargado, pero después mejor la eliminé. <risa> <risa> Ajá. Pero de ahí lo demás, pues estamos bien. Bueno. Uh -huh. bueno, perfecto. Cualquier cosa estamos aquí a la orden. ¿okay? Sí, muchas gracias, teacher. Bueno, hasta feliz noche. Gracias igual. Hasta luego. Bye.